Birthdays come and go, each year adding up to a lifetime full of extraordinary moments. At Missoula Aging Services, we promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults. We are ready to help connect seniors to the help they need. Knowing you've got friends to support you, each birthday can be special. See how we can help. Call 728-7682 or log on to MissoulaAgingServices.org. At Missoula Aging Services. Hey guys, we're here with Colleen and Larry, and they're here to talk about Meals on Wheels program. So tell uh, some of the viewers out there who don't know what Meals on Wheels are uh, for us. So our Meals on Wheels program, we serve homebound adults here in Missoula County. Uh, last year we served the most meals ever that we ever have. We served over 100,000 meals last year. That's a lot. Yep, it sure is. <laughs> And so our, our program is geared to, again, serve people who are homebound, whether it's a, a temporary homebound status, say a person had had a hip replacement surgery and they know that they will not be able to get to the grocery store, not be able to stand to do food prep for throughout their recovery. Well, that's when Meals on Wheels can come in and help out and we'll bring them a good nutritious <laughs> meal. Great. <laughs> uh, you, you also came on here, you're looking for volunteers, you're always looking for um, new people to uh, take on some of the routes here, yep. but uh, specifically uh, you are asking for a, a particular type of volunteer. Yes, I'm looking for more substitute volunteer drivers like Larry here. So we have 16 routes. Uh, typically we serve about 300 meals a day, and so each route has about, we, we try to keep them around 20, uh, clients per route and many of our volunteer drivers have a fixed route but right now we're looking for substitute drivers people who I can call uh, in the morning and say hey are you available to drive the rural route 5 from East Missoula to Clinton are you available to do that today and just be able to pick up and come on in get their manifest plug it into their GPS and use the maps and go and get people their food. Cool, and we have first-hand experience on what yes. it's like to be that kind of volunteer. So Larry, what, what can you tell me about your experiences as a floater? Well, the nice thing about being a, a floater or a substitute is I know all the routes now, and, uh, and I also get to meet all the people. And even though I don't see them every day or every week, um, after doing it six years, I seem to know all of the all of the clients or the majority of the clients and it's mm -hmm. like seeing an old friend for for a second time you know in in say a week or a week and a half and and uh, be able to talk to them and and not just um, like the, the 20 people a normal route would give but uh, um, to the the 300 people that mm -hmm. we see every day so I my uh, my knowledge of the people that we serve is uh, pretty big now yeah uh, and that's enjoyable. I, it's like seeing new friends all the time. And you know, another thing too, with, you know, of course, first our, our priority is to get the correct meal to the correct person. Many of our folks have dietary restrictions, but what's also equally as important is the daily check-in that our volunteers provide. So when Larry goes and brings a meal, he will, just like he says, he'll, he'll leave a check-in like an old friend and say, hey, you know, how, how are things going? It sounds like your cold is going away. That's great, you know, and and are able they're able to communicate to me if there is perhaps another need that a, a person may have, a client may have, whether it's changing their meal or if perhaps they need some assistance with uh, getting to medical appointments, things like that. Our volunteers report to me, and then I can contact colleagues at Missoula Aging Services to get people the services that they need. So oh. it's a it's super important that daily check in. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they, the clients seem to like it as well. Mm -hmm. very much. Well, let's talk a little bit about the clients. Uh, what, what, what variety of uh, clients do you guys work with? Well, again, the, the primary qualifier to receive Meals on Wheels is that a person is homebound to a certain degree. And so we will serve um, uh, adults who are over the age of 60. We serve clients. We have clients in their 90s. We also have uh, what I call underage adults, Meals on Meals clients who are 18 to 59, but are, again are homebound to some degree so that uh, we're able to bring in the meals to them to help keep their nutrition good and healthy. Cool. Well, uh, what are some of the uh, um, ex um, experiences of some of your drivers um, with uh, some of these routes? Oh gosh. Anywhere yep. from going off a road yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the winter time especially. Yeah. Um, 
uh, finding somebody that's uh, that is actually in a in a situation that's an emergency where you're the first one on the first one there, mm -hmm. and you're able to uh, uh, summon help, which is I mean the whole the whole project is rewarding as far as a driver but those are the situations where you really even feel much much better about what you're doing because yeah. you are helping immensely to somebody that needs it yeah. um, but you know every person that you serve you're you're helping them out yeah. and uh, and they are appreciative and that's it's rewarding for yourself yeah. and it also all of our volunteers also in whatever given situation they may they come up, they are living our our agency's mission, which is to promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults and those who care for them. So when a person has a need, and the first person that they're seeing, perhaps the only person that they're seeing that day is their Meals on Wheels driver, they know that they can go to them and say, I need, I need some assistance here. Could you please get a hold of somebody? Or if it is an emergent situation, they know that the driver can call 911 yeah. just like that, and they will stay with them until the EMTs arrive. Cool. Um, is there anything else uh, I haven't really touched on? Um, maybe uh, uh, where can people find more information? Yes. You can always come to our Missoula Aging Services website www.missoulaagingservices.org and if you'd like to be a volunteer uh, you can get an online application there or you can go to Missoula Aging Services at 337 Stevens um, and get that information get the the volunteer application process rolling. Cool. Well, uh, thanks, uh, Colleen mm -hmm. and Larry, for joining me this morning. Yeah, um, thank you. Um, it, they're looking for drivers. They're looking for uh, uh, substitute drivers to uh, take up the uh, the reins yes. of of driving for people who are in need of uh, meals to have delivered to their home. 